This is my first getting started tutorial on the GY-521 MPU6050 6 degrees of freedom 3 axis gyroscope and accelerometer module. As usual before making any intermediate or advanced level project, first I'm going to explain the basics that every beginner should know. In this tutorial I will try to keep things simple so that you can easily understand the whole mechanism. In this episode, I will cover number one, MPU 6050 GY-521 technical specifications. Number two, MPU 6050 module pinout. Number three, MPU 6050 circuit diagram explanation. Number four, it's interfacing with the Arduino. Number five, libraries which you will need for this module. Number six, programming to display the values on the serial monitor and finally number seven testing without any further delay let's get started the components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon the components purchase links are given in the description This is the GY-521 MPU6050 6DOF 3-axis gyroscope and accelerometer module. The MPU6050 communicates with the Arduino through the I2C protocol. The MPU6050 always acts as a slave to the Arduino with the SDA and SCL pins connected to the I2C bus. This module needs 3 to 5 volts. This module can be used in a hand gesture controlled robot, wheelchair, earthquake detection system, self balancing robot, self balancing platform for a camera, Segway, etc. As you can see clearly, this module has a total of 8 pins which are clearly labeled. Out of these 8 pins, I'll be using only the VCC, ground, SCL, SDA and INT. Let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The circuit diagram is very simple. As you can see VCC is connected with 3.3 volts. Ground is connected with the ground. SCL and SDA are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A5 and A4 while the INT pin of the MPU6050 module is connected with pin number 2 of the Arduino. The MPU6050 Eagle library can be downloaded from our website. Check the link in the description. So that's all about the circuit diagram. The MPU6050 module can be interfaced with the Arduino using male to female type jumper wires. Orange wire is connected with the VCC. Blue wire is connected with the ground. Green wire is connected with the SCL. Yellow wire is connected with the SDA and white wire is connected with the INT pen of the MPU6050 module. Connect the orange wire which is the VCC wire with 3.3 volts of the Arduino. Connect the blue wire with the ground. Connect the green wire which is the SCL wire with the Arduino's analog pin A5. Connect the SDA wire with the analog pin A4 and finally connect the INT pen of the module with pin number 2 of the Arduino. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download these libraries. These libraries are available on my website. You can find link in the description. The MPU6050 GY-521 module can be powered up using 3.3 to 5 volts. The INT pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 2. The SCL pin is connected with the analog pin A5 while the SDA pin is connected with the analog pin A4 of the 
Arduino. As you can see, this is a very small program which is available on my website. You can find link in the description. I have already employed this program. Let's watch this project in action. While the Arduino is connected with the laptop, open the serial monitor and make sure you select 38,400 as the baud rate. As you can see on the screen, the AX, AY and AZ values changes as I rotate the MPU 6050 module. With connections like these, it's really difficult to handle this sensor and later it will be really difficult to calibrate this sensor. As in my upcoming tutorials, I'm going to use this sensor in a self-balancing bicycle, Segway, driver drowsiness detection, wheelchair and a hand gesture control robot. For the easy calibration, I'm going to fix this sensor on a Vero board. On the back of this soldering female headers with the VCC ground, SCL, SDA and INT pins. Now you can see the MPU6050 sensor is sandwiched between the Vero boards and now it's really easy to handle. Let me again connect this module with the Arduino and see if it has any improvement. As you can see, the sensor is almost calibrated. The value of AX and AY are 127. These values fluctuate between 127 and 128, which is not a big deal. As I rotate the sensor, you can see change in the values. Now I have more control over the sensor and now I can easily use this in my upcoming projects. Subscribe right now and click the bell icon so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.